Hi, I'm Rachel Rose, welcome to my video and today I've got my second forage box so I'm having to do this at a funny angle again <laughs> hopefully um, you'll be able to see everything yeah, I've, I've deliberately not been looking at the forage box Instagram posts because I think it gave away what's in the box and I wanted to be a surprise <laughs> That's, yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> okay, so, um, it came yesterday and I was at a funeral, so my, I asked my friend to put it in the, the fridge for me. So hopefully nothing has gone bad, although I think this corner um, probably touched the back of the fridge and got a bit wet. Right, come on. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, so there's a bit about the forage box. Doesn't give away what's in there, so that's cool. Yeah, fab. Ah, fresh garlic mustard. This is um, also called Jack by the Hedge. I actually ate some yesterday because I found I went to Eastbourne for the funeral, and um, my partner and I went for a walk, and I was, I saw some, and I was like, we can eat that, so we added it to dinner. Yeah, it's. Um, it often grows by footpaths and it can get it can get really tall and it doesn't have much of a smell but it tastes really quite mustardy and um a bit bitter so it's lovely we had it um what did we do we had it steamed with some other veg so yeah that's really nice i'll eat that today because it's gone a bit floppy <laughs> but you can eat the flowers and the stems and the the leaves so yeah we could stick it in a stir fry which is really nice um yeah i think it's got a few other names like um hedge mustard but yeah that's that grows everywhere <laughs> so that's cool oh fresh bistort I don't know this plant, so I'm quite glad to get this. So I'll be able to recognise it when I see it growing. Let's have a look. Do, do, do. What did it say? <laughs> a mild spring green, remove red stalks and use in place of Savoy cabbage. <laughs> what did that other one say? A strong hedgerow herb that gives any dish garlic a mustard punch. Yes, definitely. Ooh. Yeah, it looks quite like dock, I th I think. I guess the shape of the leaf is more it's more heart-shaped than dock. Um can't really smell anything. Yeah, so it looks quite a lot like spinach. Um, fab. There's quite a, quite a lot there. I love how these are compostable bags as well. That's really important to me. And um, that's put me off of some witchy subscription boxes because there's been um, un -re non recyclable or non compostable or reusable packaging. Alexander seeds. Oh, that's interesting. A wild Szechuan pepper. <laughs> cool. Wow, they're quite big. We don't have um, this plant growing in Brighton so much, I don't think. But I, I've noticed it in like, Hastings and Eastbourne way. Um, but I, yeah, I didn't know what to do with it. So this is nice knowing that we can can use the seeds. They smell a bit mushroomy, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure of like magical properties of this, of these plants, but I'm sure they've got some magical uses as well. Awesome. So I guess I could put that in a grinder or um, pestle and mortar, and yeah, fabulous. 
Yeah, this <laughs> this packaging's really good for for the fire pit for starting the fire. Oh, slow blossom syrup. Wow. So that's from the blackthorn tree. Um, it says, sweet and floral with a remarkable flavour of almonds. Try in a cocktail. Interesting. Wow. That's really cool. I like how um, there are items that come from trees. So yeah, Blackthorn's organ name is Streth. And um, yeah, that's got a lot of magical meaning, so it's cool to get it as a food as well. I'm going to give it a sniff. Mm. It's quite syrupy. Yeah, I guess because it's syrup. <laughs> I didn't know that you could um, eat the the blossoms. Yeah, that does taste a bit like almonds. Awesome. And one more thing. Dandy root chutney <laughs> with dandelion and nettle. Wow, I love chutney. There are so many good vegan cheeses these days. So I love a bit of... Uh, the cheese and chutney <laughs> on a cracker. I'm gonna open that. Oh, looks like um, Christmas mints. Wow, it's got a really strong smell. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. So that was my forage box. Got the the chutney with dandelion and nettle. Alexander seeds can be used like pepper and the slow blossom syrup and the bistort which is a new one for me so I'm quite excited hey biscuit yeah meow <laughs> and the, the fresh garlic mustard which I already know is lovely yeah cool well, I'm going to keep getting this because it's it's really interesting. I love foraging, but um, I'm not so I'm confident in it that I could just go out and create a whole meal. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and um, you can follow me on Instagram if you like pictures of <laughs> toads and frogs and plants and. Things like that. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.